a new solution which seems to be becoming really popular in the same kind of you know communications and project project management space as teams called ClickUp, but it seems to be trending at the moment. And of course, we've got the ever popular notion. Now, both both of those solutions kind of target the small business space and teams, maybe more broadly, is a more of an enterprise level product, but also for the small business space. Do you have any experience with ClickUp or Notion? And what do you think about yeah. them compared to your experience with Teams, maybe? I have experience with Notion. Uh, I've also been led into the, I guess it's the preview beta for a Canva solution called Docs. Um, and they're expanding into this market as well. I, I, I sort of view the, the push towards this sort of chat-based collaboration space as being very similar to the push to email, you know, broadly on the web or on the internet, maybe 25, 25 ish years ago, whatever that was. Um, it's interesting to see so many players showing up. And I, and I think there's something interesting and new about it in the sense that it's, um, uh, these things are uh, kind of small, lightweight, and and new technology. They're not based on these legacy platforms of the past. Um, but I don't see anything that competes with Teams openly, frankly, or on that same level, right? I mean, I, Teams in just a few short years has uh, just vaulted ahead of everything. It's it's rather incredible. Mm -hmm. There's a, I can't remember the name of the guy who does it, but there's a, a very popular productivity channel on YouTube and he mm -hmm. uh, recorded a video recently about why he thinks Notion may be knocked off of the top spot in the kind of <laughs> sure. SMB space uh, very shortly. And one of the problems that he cited, I mean, I, ha I have used Notion, I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. whether you've used it at all, yeah, uh, yeah. but I never really stick with it. So I kind of start to use it and have a look at it and think this looks a little bit complicated and I uh, not quite sure about it, but he made the point, uh, and I think he's probably right, that one of the problems that Notion has over some of the new players in the space, like uh, ClickUp, for instance, and I, I would say yeah. even Microsoft Teams to a certain extent, is that you need to set the whole thing up. And I know that Notion has templates and you can download mm -hmm. other people's templates and get their kind of set up and people run their whole businesses on notion but I, you know i do think it is a little bit complicated to or not complicated but just time consuming to set the whole thing up for your needs and it's not right. maybe as in, as intuitive as it could be I, I think there's a lot of things that go into stickiness with this kind of product i mean for me the allure of teams was that real-time collaboration actually worked. You know, we uh, had been doing uh, notes on Windows Weekly for many, many years through OneNote and uh, Microsoft kind of lagged behind when it came to real-time collab in, you know, Word, Excel, OneNote, whatever. Um, this was something when Google had come out with their productivity suite in the cloud, Google Docs, et cetera. Uh, they built that right in from the get-go. And I think that's one of the advantages of building something new and is the reason I think that teams was maybe the right approach, right? They could have moved forward with the stuff that they already had, but Microsoft kind of saw where this part of the market was going and, and at least started afresh. I think that was the right approach for this kind of thing. But, you know, beyond that, it depends on what you're doing and, and how are you using it. And for, for me, Notion isn't a full solution for everything because I have to export data in certain ways and it just doesn't work well for that. Uh, but as far mm -hmm. as collaboration, and um, and and real time collaboration, which I think is the key here. Uh, Notion works for what I do, which is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. admittedly limited. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know how much experience you've had with syncing in in one though, but it's it's pretty terrible experience. Oh, it's awful. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's why. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, I <laughs> I have decades of experience with that, <laughs> and it is terrible. Right, which is why we left. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, quite often I, I use OneNote to to make notes for the videos that I record every week, and then I try to sync it with my phone right. uh, to the app there. And you kind of have to constantly try to. First of all, you have to kind of force it to do a resync. It just does. It doesn't kind of sync automatically. And then it can take, you know, sometimes a couple of minutes to do that sync, and that's yeah. not really, yeah. you know. I mean, as a tech person, I I kind of get it, but I can imagine somebody who doesn't have much experience <laughs> is going to be scratching their head, wondering what on earth's going on with that. OneNote was revolutionary when it came up, but it, in many ways, we can look at OneNote as the last major classic Office app. You know, it, it's twenty years old ish. I don't remember the exact date it came up, but you know, making that work on mobile was a new effort and making it work with the backend systems was difficult. 
I've always had trouble with OneNote not being 100% compatible with Word from a formatting perspective, which I think is problematic for people who move through the suite. Um, but yeah, I, but you know, Microsoft has a way forward for this stuff where they're working on Loop. Loop will be a way to bring in these legacy applications and document formats and move forward with something new as well. So uh, mm-hmm. there's there's a lot going on in this space. And mm-hmm. I think the most, the most interesting thing in some ways is what you brought up up front, which is that so many companies and organizations are getting involved in the space. I think there's a collective understanding that this is a way forward for productivity and collaboration. Yeah. Because there, there are loads of solutions, aren't there? Like monday.com, Trello. I mean, yeah. I, I know they're all a, a little bit different, but they all kind of target that same space that, that Notion is in, I guess. Um, one, of, one of the things that I've always felt about OneNote is that it seems to, to me to be primarily designed for people who have a, a tablet and a pen. Yeah. I always think that I, right. you know, whenever I see the interface, it feels like I should be scribbling something on this, <laughs> not typing with a keyboard. That's yep. always something I, well, I, that's, I feel with OneNote. But. That's part of its legacy. I mean, it, it did arrive right at around the same time as the tablet PC, right, about 20 years ago. So that's definitely part of it. I I mean, I used it like that briefly because like everyone else, I was sort of interested that, in that in the beginning. But I found that I'm more productive just typing, and that's how I used it. I, I used OneNote for almost 20 years. I mean, for a long, long time. And I just grew frustrated with the limitations around collaboration, mostly. I hadn't really realized that it was 20 years old, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, I guess that it must be. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, how things like click up and what, what, whatever other pretenders to the note to the notion <laughs> throw and are, are going to throw, throw out in that yeah. space o- over the next few years. And I've kind of always seen loop as a challenge to notion from Microsoft. That's right. It yeah, always exactly seems to right. me to be uh, kind of, you know, what they're doing. Uh, yeah, that was a great that's... idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> it knows what that kind of feels like, but uh, but backed by the Microsoft Graph and, of course, the, the Microsoft ecosystem of applications and services in the productivity space. So mm-hmm. it's kind of a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. 